Uh, all right. Next up, we got Nintendo wins the Joy-Con drift lawsuit. Let's keep the Nintendo train going yes. real quick. Uh, this is a this is a tweet. Yeah, I just put a tweet from St- Stefan Stephen Stephen Tatilla. Uh, it says. New five years of efforts to sue Nintendo over Joy-Con drift have all been ended with a whimper. Plaintiffs, meaning parents and kids, and defendant Nintendo in the two main class action claims in the United States filed in 2019 and 2020. They agreed last week to call for their dismissal. And there's a legal document. I don't want to read that. It just says... uh, they hereby dismiss this action with prejudice, which means it cannot be put up to trial again. Yeah. Uh, and on the merits with each party to bear its own costs and expenses. Uh, this sucks because, yeah. uh, I mean, like, class action lawsuits are stupid in one way where uh, it's just a way for lawyers to make a lot of money yeah. because it's not like you know if you had in like you had an issue with your joy con drifting yeah. you sent it back you would probably qualify for yeah. some money if, if we won this class action lawsuit and you would probably get three dollars yeah yeah but on the other hand it's a way to hold uh companies accountable because that come even though will would only get three dollars right the company would have to owe uh people like Will and the government and everything, millions and millions and millions of mm-hmm. dollars. And you know when companies have to spend millions of dollars, they're not happy about it. Yeah. So uh, that's a good way to get company, to, to prevent companies or to make them not want to fuck up this badly. Yeah. Uh, and they just dismissed it. Uh, I would assume the reason for the dismissal is just that the lawyers who were taking on this class action lawsuit decided... This is taking too long and we're spending too much of our time on this. Let's just, yeah, let's just it's, it. that sounds like it because like this, yeah. this is something that like should have gone. It should have been in and out. You know, there's, there's clearly a problem. Nintendo didn't like realize it initially. The Nintendo like accepts the, the fine or whatever. And like just ends it and like promises to work towards a better you know, joy con, but no, like they kept fighting it for years and to put an end to like try to like sweep it under the rug. And they essentially did. They like dragged it out long enough that like people like forgot about it and also learn to live with it. You just accept that Joy-Con drift is going to happen. Yeah. So Nintendo did say that they'd fix Joy-Con drift for free, which yeah. I'm sure uh, made it harder to uh, for lawyers to prove that there was negligence. Mm-hmm. Um, but Nintendo did try to say that nothing was wrong and also they're still selling the same fucking yeah. Joy-Cons. Um I was trying to see if the FTC ever did anything about it. Yeah. Cuz that's their job. Yeah. You know, their job is to regulate this stuff. It shouldn't be put on to law- just random lawyers who want to make yeah. a quick buck. That's a whole nother problem in itself. Mm-hmm. Uh but I found this article from IGN. All the lawsuits Nintendo is facing over Joy-Con. Uh so I guess it's more than one. Uh Diaz versus Nintendo of America which I think is one I think is one of the ones that is being dismissed. The judge granted Nintendo's motion to compel arbitration yet denied its request to have the case dismissed. The one that Steven Totillo uh, tweeted about was AC a minor uh by and through his guardian Maria uh Carbaljal versus Nintendo. Okay. So we also have Diaz versus Nintendo of America, which I guess is still going on. Sanchez versus Nintendo of America. Um, claimed unlawful conduct by Nintendo uh, related to its marketing and selling of Joy-Con controllers. Specifically, this suit contains seven claims for relief, citing violations of California's unfair competition law, false advertising law, the aforementioned Magnuson Moss Warranty Act, and the Song Beverly Consumer Warranty Act. And this current status is Nintendo has filed a motion to transfer the case to the U.S. District Court. Uh, this motion will presumably be granted. Uh, so this is going to go up the chain, I guess. Uh, Sanchez versus Nintendo was dismissed in 2022. Okay. So this is not up to date. Mm-hmm. Uh, Carbajal versus Nintendo of America. Filed in 2020 uh, in the United States District Court of Western District of Washington, Seattle. Which is where Nintendo is based. Uh, unfair, deceptive, and or fraudulent business practices. 
Uh, and they filed a motion to compel arbitration. Blah, blah, blah. And there's, I guess, other countries, too. Yeah, I mean, probably. And then this article just mentions the, the, the Nintendo's EULA, which says you cannot file a class action right. lawsuit against them, which, is, which should not count. Yeah. <laughs> That's a whole nother thing we need to uh, mm-hmm. fight against is and user license agreements. We have to yeah. stop trying to pretend like that's like an actual like legal standing. Yeah. Cuz nobody's reading that shit. You can't put stuff in writing like that that is not legal yeah. to begin with. <laughs> All right. Uh so that's sad to hear. Yeah. It sucks that the onus of uh making sure companies don't do things that are anti-consumer, the 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 onus is on just random lawyers who just who just yeah. decided they wanted to make some money. I mean, the only thing we can hope now is that like for the Switch 2, like Nintendo has figured out Joy Contrapt so that they don't do it again. Maybe the Hall Effects is the answer. Maybe like Nintendo will create because they're not going to license it. Maybe they'll create their own so that like it doesn't. Yeah, I'm willing to bet that the Nintendo Switch 2 will not have Hall Effects you don't think so? I think that Nintendo is going to s- just be stubborn once again <laughs> and just just yeah. just do their own thing and just never acknowledge Joy Country. Because mm-hmm. again, that would also, uh, they would not want to admit that they had a problem. Right. They, they, the new Joy Cons will be completely different, yeah. but uh, I don't know if they're going to say specifically that their whole effect. Mm-hmm. Penology in the chat says, class action lawyers don't charge, so it's definitely them giving up. They get the bank on the settlement? Mm. yeah no that's what i mean like yeah. they make money on the settlement so yeah it's them giving up because they just said they're spending too much time on it right they want to get the other thing that could have made them a quicker book mm-hmm. 